Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. So today I'm sitting down with you guys to make a very exciting video. So a few weeks back, I had the idea to kind of do a video rating some of my past looks, especially from this past summer, because I definitely ventured way out of my comfort zone with my style this past season. And I just wanted to sit down and reflect with you guys and rate those looks, because some of those looks I kind of like genuinely loved and some I was just like, what's happening? But I'm very happy that I actually just went out of my comfort zone though and tried new things because it really just helped me understand my own personal style a lot better because my entire life I've just been playing it safe and sticking within a certain like way of dressing. So it's really fun to just venture out and kind of like see what made me feel good and what did not to bring me closer to like finding my own personal style and developing it. You know what I mean? So without further ado, let's jump right in because I'm super excited. I've wanted to do this video for a long time, as I've said. The first thing we're gonna be talking about is probably a full Aritzia set, and it's a linen yellow set. I'm gonna put that picture on the screen here for you. So this full look is actually from Aritzia. I put this look together myself, and um, at the time I was loving it. I felt like I felt like that girl. I felt like I looked so good. And this is my idea of wearing color. I always stick to like the light pastel shades. So I went with this yellow set from Aritzia and I paired it with these Desi sunglasses, which I thought were a vibe. I went with the sleek ponytail. At that time, I think I was wearing tapins, so it was sleek, okay? And I paired it with a white tank top my white jock, jock moose bag, my Hermes like like yellow gold and white bracelet, and my Bottega Strut sandal, which I wore to shreds this entire season, okay? I love those shoes so much, they're literally tore up right now, so yeah. So what would I rate this look? I'm gonna rate this look a seven out of 10, and I'm rating it a seven because I was not very comfortable wearing this style. I feel like the sunglasses, the style that they were in were not really my vibe, but definitely let me know what you guys think below. I definitely would love to hear you guys' opinion as well. But yeah, that's the first look. The second look is another set. So if you guys don't know this about me, I really struggle with putting outfits together, but one thing that makes it really easy to do is wearing sets because you already have a top and a bottom. All you have to figure out is the shoes and the bag, the sunglasses, or maybe something underneath but it makes it so much easier to get dressed so I'm a sets girl so this is another set this is my I don't know what this is called from Aritzia but I'm gonna try to find all these pieces for you guys below but for this look I'm gonna rate it a nine this is definitely my vibe number one I love to show my legs I don't know what it is but I really just love my legs and I love a little short short moment but I don't like like jean shorts I like dress shorts so this is gonna be a definitely a summer staple for me I love the dress shorts look and pairing it with a little crop jacket was just a vibe I felt like a little Barbie doll and to accessorize I'm wearing my coat pillow tabby in the beige color you know I love my pillow tabbies so much and for shoes I'm wearing this like shoes that I picked up from Stuart Weitzman it's like the little gold like platform heel thingies not platform the gold mule style shoe I love that shoe so much I just wish wish it didn't get scratched so easily but definitely a favorite shoe of mine I really do like it next look we're rating this is the nighttime look I don't really showcase my nighttime looks very often because they're pretty much the same um, I love a little black dress moment and if you ever catch me out the house on an evening out or a dinner date or anything like that, I'm literally wearing a little black dress with black heels and a black bag. That is my go-to look. The dresses might look a little bit different, but it's the same concept, little black dress. And for this look, I'm gonna rate this a 10 out of 10. I felt unstoppable that night. I feel unstoppable in general when I'm wearing a little black dress. It's definitely a style that I really, really love to wear. It makes me feel sexy. I feel like a bad, you know what I'm gonna say? <laughs> I just feel like I look so good and sexy and I just feel like my feminine energy is just radiating at an all-time high, 
when I wear a little black dress so I love that and for this evening I just wear like my Lulu's heels so it has like a transparent strap by the toes and it has this gold chain that just hangs which looks so so nice and I'm just wearing my Polen bag so next look I'm wearing basically a cropped poplin t-shirt with blue jeans my Hermes sandals and my Polen bag in black and this is my go-to look. You guys know this already. I'm gonna rate this a 10 out of 10. I love these kind of like style look. They're very like model off of beauty. They're very chic. They kind of just showcase like I'm not trying too hard, but you know what I mean? So I really do love a blue jean and a white poplar shirt look. If I were asked to choose two outfits to wear for the rest of my life, it would be a black dress for the evening and a poplar shirt and a blue jeans for the daytime. This next look is a all white number and I love this entire photo shoot moment because I love to just wear white. I feel, I feel like white really just lets my skin tone pop. I know as a melanated baby, a melanated girl, you guys think like, actually not you guys think. It is a fact. When we wear color, it just hits different. Let's just say that. But I also feel like there's something about my undertone my complexion that just pairs very well with white it doesn't like wash me out but it like enhances my color in a way very hard to explain because it's white you know what i mean but i do love an all white fit and this dress is from aritzia i own so many of them i just love this dress it's my favorite dress from them and i just have on my bottega stretch again and my jacquemus bag and for the all white look 10 out of 10 because white is my color i love a little nice knit tight dress and white accessories it's crisp it's cool and i just love it i always feel like really really nice and white so 10 out of 10 i don't really have a lot of like summertime designer bags or shoes or anything so Kind of just rotate these two throughout all my looks. Next look is this all monochromatic pink look and the pants and top are from Aritzia, but I'm wearing my new pillow tabby here and it's the, I call it the sunset bag because it has the tones of a typical sunset, the yellow, the orange, the pinks, and I just felt like that just looked really, really good. I really did love this look. So for this pink look, I think I would rate it maybe like a seven, only because I just feel like I would never wear this again. Um, actually, I'm lying. I definitely would wear it again. I just feel like I would probably do a couple things differently. Maybe I would go with like a brighter color shoe. I stuck with like a peach shade here, but I would definitely go with something like a little bit more pink to kind of like play on the bag a little bit more but outside of that really did love this entire look i love a monochromatic moment you guys if you guys are not comfortable like with fashion and getting dressed or whatever monochromatic looks always just look put together and chic don't have to try too hard so i love that um, for this next look it's another like monochromatic moment and for this, I'm just, just gonna rate her literally an eight out of 10. I love to dress in all black, but in the daytime, I just feel like wearing black clothing in the summer just makes me feel way more hot. So I wouldn't like do all black in the daytime, although I am wearing a linen pants here. Um, I feel like this outfit could look way better if I really just worked hard dur, to style it. But really, really nice. And I think the star of the show, though, for this look are the sunnies. I love these sunnies from Desi. We first saw Renee wearing this exact style, and you guys were also obsessed with her look that day. And I got the same sunglasses, and they're just a vibe, you guys. They were just a vibe. So I really love these sunnies. And for this look, again, an 8 out of 10 is fair. I really, really like it. It's very casual, chic, and all black always looks good. So. so these next few looks are where things got interesting, okay? It's where I got a stylist, and she was really helping me just come out of my comfort zone. Um, she didn't style all of these looks that I'm going to show you, but she did style like one or two. But the first look, I actually got this entire outfit from Zara. Zara had this exact look on their models, and I just bought the entire look. And it's this yellow tulle top with these white cutout jeans. And I wore this for a Marc Jacobs fragrance launch party. I thought it would be very fitting. Now, I really wasn't comfortable wearing this look in the beginning. Like once I wore it out, I felt very self-conscious. I've never dressed very extra in my life. But 
the moment I went outside, people were literally stopping to like tell me how good I look. People were taking pictures. If you dress up in New York City, just be prepared to be photographed because there's always like tourists out and just people who just value fashion, so they're gonna take picture. Not that this look is like very fashionable, but it was different, you know what I mean? And because it's different, it attracted a lot of attention. So yeah, lots of photos were taken this day. And once I kind of realized like, you know what, I'll take it. You look good, girl. I started to really like feel myself. And I think from this moment on, I became more adventurous. I think that moment made me realize it's okay to try new things and take risk. And that's when it went. Well, I would say downhill, but you know, a little steady. I'm gonna rate it a 10 out of 10. I could have probably styled it differently, but the way how it made me feel, she gets a 10. So this next looks, we're going to the Hamptons for a Steve Madden launch party. Well, they were opening a new store and I had to wear something from the Steve Madden brand. By the way, did not know that Steve Madden sold clothes, by the way, but they do. So yeah, my stylist put this look together for me. It's a swirl striped set, comes with a jacket and a short, a set that I kind of like really rock with very often, but never in this print or color. So I wore this and underneath I'm just wearing like my Wolford bodysuit. So this look, I'm gonna rate it literally a nine because I felt like Although it was out of my comfort zone, I still felt really good in it. Um, would I wear it again? Absolutely not, but definitely enjoyed wearing it in that moment. It was very fitting for where I was going and I think it worked out. So, so the next look is for the US Open and this look was kind of like styled by my stylist, but I kind of like remixed it a little bit. So I'm wearing this navy blue blazer with a strike polo shirt underneath a denim skirt, and I'm wearing this Bote not Bottega, um, Balenciaga city bag, the old version, and a Ralph Lauren hat, and I think I wear sneakers. And I love this look, I'm gonna rate it a 10 out of 10 because I felt so good in it, and I felt like I looked good, and I got lots of compliments, so it's a 10 for me. So this next look is another color outfit. This was in Las Vegas, and I was wearing this green dress with like the one strap this way. This isn't like a, like a fashion styling moment or anything, but I know you guys feel like you've never seen me wear colors, so I wanted to include it in here. But for this outfit, 10 out of 10, I really love this shade on me. It really adds a little bit of like depth and like also a little bit dark, so it kind of like allows my skin tone to look like more tan or like more vibrant, I guess. So I really do love this outfit and I love this color. So this look also is a 10 out of 10. I love that look. So now we're at the point of fashion week and I wore three looks to fashion week shows but I didn't really capture the third one. The third one I did not like one bit so I did not care to photograph it. But the first look is this monochromatic pink look. Now this look I picked up from a store called Because of Alice. Now this look was not picked up for fashion week by any means. They just wanted to gift me a few things and I chose this pink set because I said to myself, you know what, I, there might come a time where I need it and it was fashion week. So short, the blazer and the bra and I paired it with this um, Steve Madden like Bottega dupe and Steve Madden platform heels. I really did love this look. I just really wish I wasn't as bloated and the shorts weren't so um, tight. I feel like it comes as a set and I felt like I went with a size small so the blazer wouldn't be too like big. Look, I love that that my hair was like really nice and straight and sleek. I thought the entire look was just very glamorous and just very elegant but chic at the same time. So this look, I'm gonna give it a eight out of 10. I felt like if I had really spent time to have this look tailored to my body, it would have looked really, really bad. I really got invites to fashion week shows like the day before, so I had no time for anything. So the next thing I'm gonna be sharing with you guys, and it's also the final, is the Fee Noel um, like set. So I actually picked this up from her showroom to wear to the show, and this look scared me on for several reasons. The color and the overall design. I've never really worn anything like that re revealing ever in my life, but, well, I obviously wear bathing suits, but I've never had to wear something like this on the streets of New York City. But I will say I loved this look so much. 
Probably my favorite look that I've worn so far. I felt like an absolute princess. Literally got photographed so much on Fashion Week Day when I wore this look. Um, so much. But um, yeah, I love this look. It's probably my favorite. So I'm going to rate this one an 11 out of 10. I definitely would like redo this look in some other way for sure. But yeah, that was definitely my favorite look. But yeah, I just wanted to do a really quick recap for you guys of all my looks this summer and rate them for you. I will obviously link whatever I'm able to link down below if you guys wanted to pick anything up. But I'm so excited for the fall season and what looks I experiment with this season. So excited for that. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye!